What's happening everyone? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. We have my top 10 favorite characters in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. There are 380 characters you can play as in the game and it was actually pretty tough to come up with a top 10 list partially because I use a lot of the same characters. So honestly anything outside of the top 10 is just completely interchangeable. So I want to get right into my list and I wanted to say thank you everybody that's been supporting me uh, while I put out all these videos. Uh, I hope you stop by our Discord link in the description and you can also check me out uh, on Twitter, Jayshockblast. So without any further ado, I want to talk about these two characters on the screen right here as honorable mentions. All right, Babu Freak is adorable. I love it when he pops and he goes, I am Babu Freak. And uh, I just wish he was a scavenger um, and he would have easily been on my list completely. But he doesn't really do anything other than just be an adorable little minifig. So uh, that's why I want to put him here. And then I would be remiss if I didn't mention Gonkatine, okay? Gonkatine is somehow one of the most unintentionally hilarious uh, moments of my life. Um, I really enjoyed going through all of the, the Gonk videos and unlocking all the characters on the way and uh, doing boss battles with Gonkatine only and trying to help everybody save money on their car insurance and uh, help them with their uh, extended car warranty because that is what he's all about. Uh, so I wanted to mention them just to kind of like say, hey, these are kind of fun characters even though they were mostly useless. Without any further ado, let's get right into number 10. At number 10, we have Kylo Ren, specifically this version, which I believe is from episode nine, where he's kind of welded together his mask again. And uh, he's got like this red kind of lightning bolt streaks uh, throughout it where he kind of had to weld it together. Kylo Ren is actually a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I use a lot of Jedi and, and Sith characters. And the reason why he made it just above someone like a Darth Maul uh, is simple. I mean, he's just got that unique lightsaber and uh, there's a couple different variations of him. They kind of leaned into the whole Ben Swolo kind of ordeal. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool too. But this version of Kylo, I just, it really came down to this and Darth Maul uh, for number 10. And I just, I don't know, I think it was just the way that he fanboys when you pull in Darth Vader. So. It's you. Yeah. Okay, come on, Ben, keep it together. You've dreamed of this moment. Can I help you, boy? Yeah, and I just love that. You know, I also used Darth Vader a lot. So really, honestly, these three are interchangeable. Rey, uh, Vader, Kylo Ren, and uh, and Darth Maul. But I went with, uh, with Kylo Ren specifically because I just kind of love that, uh, that episode nine mask. And I actually like the mesh kind of suit too. So that's my number 10. At number nine, we have General Grievous because honestly, he is just too sick. I mean, like this is one of the coolest characters in all of Star Wars just because of how amazing he looks. He's just like four arms, four sabers. I don't know what it is. It's one of the best things to come out of the pre-sequels. And uh, I, he looks sick in this game. He's very uh, multi-purpose. You know, he's got the grenade. He's got some really cool melee attacks. Animations are just absolutely amazing. Plus, there is some interesting dialogue that you can get. Uh, let's try this. The time has come for me. Such an impressive lightsaber. So unique. May I? Touch it. <laughs> Maul is like, nope. And then, uh, obviously, it's got to be a Kenobi one, right? So let's go to uh, Jedi. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> Hello there, General Kenobi. So, I mean, honestly, just absolutely phenomenal. I'm sure there's more and I can't wait to hopefully find them. But at number nine, General Grievous, absolute no brainer. Just one of the coolest looking characters in any Lego game, for sure. At number eight, we have. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jedi Master Kit Fisto. Oh man, I, I totally tried to line that up just perfect. 
it's funny every time you load in Kit Fisto and he just has that same little speech. I am Jedi Master Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto has always been one of my favorite uh, Star Wars characters ever since they kind of introduced him. He just looks dope. He looks like the kind of guy you'd want to hang out with. He's like that cool teacher that like kind of lets you get away with a little bit of stuff. And, uh, you know, you kind of push to see how far. And uh, when you go a little too far, he looks at you and like, come on, brah. You know what I mean? So that's what I think of when I think of Kit Fisto. I love Mace Windu a lot too, but like, I don't know, you you notice probably. A lot of times when you see me with a Jedi, it's gonna be Kit Fisto, um, if not somebody higher on the list. But I just, you know, there's not a, as many Jedi as you would actually think. Uh, I do think that this, this section is a little underwhelming, um, but we've seen a lot of those characters in previous uh, Lego Star Wars games. So in any event, I'm glad they brought Kit Fisto back. It makes sense, they had to for the whole, uh, you know, invasion of Palpatine's chamber, but uh, there you go, number eight, Kit Fisto. At number seven, we have Slave Leia, and let me just tell you, she'd be much higher on the list if she was a little more functional. Obviously, she could shoot a blaster, which is convenient, but uh, let me tell you guys, as a child of the 80s, growing up uh, with Carrie Fisher in her prime, like, she was just the best, and uh, I just, Leia was, was great. She's like literally every every little boy's dream uh, from the 80s. And, uh, you know, this version of Leia, man, uh, she put in the work. It's, it's an iconic, iconic version of the character and uh, definitely one of the coolest Lego minifigs they've, uh, they've ever had. And she's been in the game in this kind of attire before. But I don't know, they really, they really went above and beyond here and uh, I used uh, Leia Jabba's Palace as much as I could. So there you go, number seven. At number six, we have the Sovereign Protector. And uh, let me just tell you guys, okay? This character is basically the Royal Guard to the nth degree. This is just a phenomenal character that I just, I didn't even know existed until this game, but apparently they're in the books, uh, in like the like guides for the new trilogy and everything. So the Royal Guard growing up was one of my absolute favorite characters. I love their just red robes, just how much of a knight they looked like. Uh, they just looked powerful and they were the protectors of the Emperor. And I love the color red in general. So when I saw the Sith Troopers, I thought that the Sith Trooper would end up on the list. I would use him as much as I could. But as it turned out, how do you make the red Sith Stormtrooper armor even cooler? You make them the new Royal Guard. And that is why I just, I loved using the uh, Sovereign Protector. The name is kind of weird. It sounds like, I don't know. It sounds like he belongs in the Avengers and not Star Wars, but I digress. And uh, also when you consider how evil the, the Sith are, the fact that he's a Sovereign Protector is also a little weird. But in any event, uh, probably the one character because of this game that I am like gonna always think of when I think of the, the new trilogy, the Red Sith Trooper as a Royal Guard Sovereign Protector. At number five, we have Shock T, another one of the Jedi. Uh, just one of my favorite Jedi. She's kind of like the more mature Ahsoka Tano. And uh, that's not a slight on Ahsoka. I love Ahsoka, don't get me wrong. But uh, she's just awesome. Like, I've always loved her. I've always thought she was just like a really cool looking character. Obviously the color red definitely plays a factor into that. Uh, but if you kind of look at her, um, this minifig is just so cool. I love like the gold that uh, and how that kind of like really pops for her. And um, I think we saw Shock T in the Force Unleashed, right? And so like my, loving the character just kind of really goes back uh, really, really far into the whole thing. And even when she was on the original Clone Wars animated series, she was just so cool. Uh, so that is one of the many reasons that I love Shock T. At number four, we have Rey. And uh, I know what you might be thinking, uh, which Rey? And the answer is all of the Rey. So here's the thing, I could literally have three different versions of Rey on the list because there's so many different variations of Rey. 
Obviously, one of my favorite ones is this one right here, the Sith version of Rey. I absolutely love how her, her lightsaber is kind of like Kylo Ren's, and I love the fact that the way that it flips open. All right, well, that didn't do it. There we go. <laughs> Does not like that version of Rey from the multiverse in particular. <laughs> All right, so usually you press circle and it'll bust out the lightsaber, but I love the way that it unfolds. But one of the cool things about Rey is there's just so many different variations, you know. Right here you have her as a uh, scavenger. So, you know, she could do some of the scavenger stuff. And then you've got the dark side Rey, and then you've got the light side Rey, where she's got different, uh, different outfits that might seem similar, but ultimately this is the one right here where she's got the, uh, the yellow lightsaber. I mean, how cool is that? There's like, look at all these. It's like the Rayiverse. <laughs> um, so yeah, man. I, I listen. I know Ray is a controversial figure in the Star Wars universe. There's a lot of people that don't love her. There's a lot of people that do. I'm one of the people that does. I thought she was great. I love Daisy Ridley. I think she's fantastic. I don't know why that went off, but in any event, number four, I used her a lot because you know, very useful. Ray. I debated whether or not I would include Mando in this list because he is technically DLC, but for me, having the Deluxe Edition, he was available from day one, so as far as I'm concerned, he is part of the core roster I played this game with. So at number three, we have the Mandalorian. It is very unique how he comes with this little pet Grogu that just follows him around everywhere, and when I needed somebody early on, before I had my top two characters unlocked, uh, this was my go-to character. The Bounty Hunter class is, is very, very, very good. Like, really, anybody in the Bounty Hunter class uh, is a lot of fun to play with. But, you know, obviously you have the attachment with these type of characters. I've always been a huge fan of Mandalorian-type characters, as you're about to see. Um, I even kind of go back to, like, Mandalore the Indomitable. Um, and, of course, Darth Revan, who is not Mandalorian, but uh, his mask is from the... Uh, the mask of a fallen Mandalorian foe and the story of how he took on his mask is actually quite cool. Um, so like, obviously these are, these are characters. I love Candace Ordo. You know, there's been so many amazing Mandalorians, uh, as part of the whole shtick. And now we've got Din Djarin, who is a whole new generation's favorite version of a Mandalorian and, and is the face of the Mandalorians to many. Uh, even though, uh, this guy right here, my number two is truly the face of all Mandalorians, at least all modern Mandalorians. This is Jango Fett, and it's not really hard to figure out why I love him so much. I do believe in the last game he was a little shinier, which would have been kind of cool. Imagine having like a, a chromed out like helmet and suit, uh, but uh, just Jango, he's got the jetpack. And there's not many characters that have jetpacks in this game built in. Obviously, you know, you've got all the scavengers can put on a jetpack, and that'll let them fly a little bit and glide a little bit. Uh, but for a lot of the harder to reach places, having the jetpack was just clutch. All right, because they just got that little extra distance and little extra sky. And Django is really unique. Um, you'd think that, you know, basically Django and Bobo would be the same thing. Um, but he's not. He's got his double pistols, and they shoot just a little bit different than the blaster rifle from Mando and from Boba Fett. And it should not be remotely a shock to see that my number one favorite character in LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, is in fact Boba Fett. So the, this is, I know it's kind of boring to kind of get to the top and see, hey, your favorite three characters look exactly the same, but the heart loves what it loves, and Boba Fett to me, ever since I saw him the first time in uh, Empire Strikes Back, has been just an absolute favorite character. I lived through the hype that built Boba Fett. I knew that we would always see that, like the books and comics have stated, he did not die in the Sarlacc pit. Like everybody likes to try to like talk a little bit of smack about that, but he's crafty, he's resourceful, he made it, and uh, you know, I know a lot of the, the stuff that, that they did with him before Disney bought is, is no longer canon, but there's a lot of really cool Boba Fett stories out there. So, uh, and just seeing how sick he looks in this game, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Like the, the 
The minifig is perfect, and he is getting another figure in uh, the second Mandalorian DLC. I really, 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 really hope it's not maskless. I really hope that he's got the mask on because I want to see that suit, that darker version of of the helmet. So. In any event, that is my top 10 favorite characters in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It is uh, amazing, just an amazing, amazing game uh, that I truly, truly love, and I really hope that you did too. Um, I think that this is uh, just so many amazing characters, and, uh, and being able to have them all on screen like this uh, just kind of makes it even cooler. So uh, without any further ado, I do hope that you guys enjoyed. I would love to know who are your favorite characters in LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and uh, let me know in the comments. We'll see ya.